in the previous session we have learnt about lag and lead functions okay now let's just enhance that requirement and find out the sales growth across time okay in the previous session we have used the lag and lead functions to display the previous month sales amount and the next month sales sum just let's enhance that requirement and display the sales growth what is the growth formula it is the current month sales amount minus the previous month sales amount divided by previous month sales amount multiplied by 100 which gives you the growth percentage that's all see how easy it was to calculate the sales growth across time okay now let's go and do that so this is the sequel which we ran in the previous session which displayed the current month sales amount previous month and the next month sales amount so now let me create this calculated column growth percentage so I am selecting the columns sales month comma sales amount which is nothing but your current month then previous month okay now the formula is sales amount minus previous month okay let me put, put that in brackets okay divided by previous month close the bracket and here close the bracket and divided by 100 and let me call it as growth percentage okay and from and let me run this okay let me round it okay I don't want so many decimals so let me round it round bracket start and then at the end comma 2 and let me run this okay the growth percentage is displayed in January because we didn't have previous month data so obviously it will be null in February the growth percentage is 1172 percentage that's a growth percentage right because previous month we had only 2000 in sales amount and in February we increased it to 25,440 and in March our growth percentage is 147.88 percent that's cool right but whereas in April we declined by minus 6 percent because previous month it was 63,060 but current month it is only 59,160 in May we are down by 98% you see just by using the lag and the lead examples how I was able to calculate the growth percentage it's cool right yes like this uh, using the various analytical functions uh, you can perform your business analysis okay